this hydro unit has been running for a few months now and um, I'm going to deconstruct it and um, have a look what's been going on inside. So after removing the Caterpillar cartridges um, we're going to have a look inside and uh, there are the two plates uh, one being the anode and one being the cathode. The anode would attract the hydroxyl ions um, that would be created by the um, electrolysis of the water and the cathode um, would attract the hydrogen ions. Um, I believe these are stored within the Caterpillar cartridges which act as a sort of reservoir and then as uh, chemicals such as ammonia come through the hydrogen ions are released and combine with ammonia to form ammonium. This is a slightly bigger molecule and can then be picked up by the skimmer and removed from the water. Um, on the other side we do have um, hydroxyl ions which disassociate further and can then form with nitrite um, and make nitrate. Uh, unfortunately this would remain in the water as I have found out. I have changed the position of the unit to a vertical orientation. This is because I found in the horizontal plane um, air and gases were collecting within the chamber and this was affecting how the unit was working. This unit will not remove nitrates However, it will convert certain more toxic chemicals into less toxic ones. Right, I've fixed the unit into place and um, now I'm going to reconnect the tube in. All that's left to do now is to purge the unit and um, it will be up and running again and uh, we'll see how we proceed from here.